Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who's new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video which is going to be a collaboration video with Rapunzel where we are going to do this wrap which is going to be the fall fusion wrap and, and I'm super excited about that that I get to show you a few more new things that have partially already launched just now in the fall uh, collection and also two things that are launching soon. I don't have a date yet, I'll tell you in a second because I'm going to of course take those scarves off and I'm going to introduce them to you and show them to you and right after that I'm going to give you the tutorial for this wrap, how I created this look. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy and we'll go right into the look. Before we go into the tutorial, of course, as I told you, I'm going to show you the new scarves. Okay, so the first one has already released now, I think at the end of October, and this is the Sublime Suede Scarf. This is how it looks, and it of course comes in different colors, and it's just... It's, it's a very, very comfortable material that just flows and is super, super comfortable to wrap with. It is not really elastic. It has no fringes. And yeah, I'm gonna try to hold it a little bit closer to the camera. Hopefully it'll show up a little bit. I'm gonna move it a little bit so you can see maybe. Okay, so this is how it looks. Sublime Suede Scarf, this is already live. I'm gonna have the link in the description box, obviously. Then the next two items that I want to show you are new releases that are just sneak peeks. They are not yet live, so I don't have a, a, a link to it, but I will leave the official name that it's gonna have in the description box as well, so, so you know what to look for, okay? So the next thing is this one, which is called the Flax and Feelings Scarf. Uh, amazing. Look at this. This is really, it has this kind of natural look. You know, if you're very, like, if you're into these kinds of looks, that by, might be absolutely the right thing for you. I don't know if there are going to be more colors of those two things that I'm going to show you now, this one and the next one. Uh, I don't know. I have no information. I only have those two pieces and that's it. Anyway, so, but this is just like a very, like a dusty green. I can't even, I can't even explain it. It's like a subdued kind of a color scheme, all of this, what we're doing today, which has such like a romantic loveliness to it. I don't know, I can't, I'm despite myself. Just would say that. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so that is this one, the uh, Flaxen Feeling Scarf, okay? It is a very, well, it's long. <laughs> it's long, but it is super wide. Let me show you the short side. This is the short side, okay? Like, this this is the short side it's really really wide and it has a bit of a fringy end here like this okay it doesn't have like really super like normal fringes it's like a short fluffy kind okay <laughs> so that's that okay so the next thing i want to show you is the laid back lace and i know a lot of my ladies love lace scarves so here comes your treat <laughs> okay this is how it looks sweeties ah <laughs> You see this? It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. So beautiful. There are of course no fringes, but it has like um, a border, a lace border around it, if you can see this. Okay. And then of course the middle part uh, of the scarf looks like this. Okay, and this is like a color, how would I describe this? Like a dusty rose kind of a color, which is also, again, as I just told you, like a subdued kind of a color scheme, which is so romantic and so not in your face that it is so, like it's, I don't know, you you form your own opinion. Anyway, um, let's just then start with the tutorial. And for that, I'm going to put down this lace scarf first for two reasons. The first reason is because I want to show you how it looks over a dark background so you can just see the, the, the pattern a little bit better. So I just show you like this. Okay, so this is how it looks. I'm not gonna wrap it like this. I just wanted to show you, okay? So now, first thing is that I'm going to put it down with both ends hanging down more or less equally. And if you're wearing a bigger shaper like I do, I'm wearing the Wendy shaper, um, you, you will have not a lot of excess material and you will understand 
in a second what I mean. Um, I'm gonna get back to this. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, flip it in here in the front and then I'm going to tie a knot behind my head. But sweeties, I know that a lot of my ladies here um, need to cover or do cover their, their hairline till the front. So just saying that if you do it like this and you have about my complexion, then maybe you can see how that would wash me out, okay? So I'm, again, I'm so, so passionate about creating this frame. So for me, my frame is, of course, my hairline. If you cannot do that for whatever reason, then you might want to consider, if you have my complexion, okay, or lighter, um, you might want to consider just putting a darker scarf underneath it, uh, underneath this one, the lace scarf, in order to have some kind of a frame so you don't wash, look washed out. Because I feel like for me, I feel that's an important thing because even like a, a nice painting, if it doesn't have a nice frame, it looks less, you know? So just saying. Okay, so I'm going to tie a knot here behind my head. Okay, and then I'm just going to let it hang down for now, okay? So next thing is I'm going to take the Flax and Feeling scarf and I'm going to take it on one of the ends so that one side is the long side hanging down and one side is the shorter end, like the shorter side hanging down, okay? So I'm just going to let it fall down so it, um, so it gets to his whole length, okay? Then I'm going to do the same thing to the Sublime Suede scarf just taking one of the, the corners and holding it up and letting it fall down too. So with these two scarves, the Flax and Feeling scarf is a little bit longer. So I'm just going to extend this a little bit so that at the end of the day, we have both of them more or less hanging down the same length on both sides. Just need to adjust it a tiny little bit more. Okay. So now I'm going to put both of those scarves behind my head because I'm going to wrap them um, from the bottom up and I'm going to put them underneath the, the other scarf, the um, lace scarf. <laughs> Here, okay? That's how I'm doing it. And then I'm going to grab them both like this, place them firmly behind my head and then I'm bringing them upwards and just crossing them over and now I just want to create a little bit of a, a look, a little bit of a pattern so we can still see that we have both colors. So that, not that one color cover covers up the other one entirely. Okay, so we have of course now here a very dominant green area. So I'm just going to take out the suede scarf a little bit so we feature that too. And I'm going to move the green scarf, the flax and feeling scarf a little bit out of the way <laughs> so we can st still see the, the suede scarf here. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, maybe even putting the, the suede scarves on top of, on this side here, something like this. And then I'm going to turn around so you, so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to tie a knot above the knot of the lace scarf. Okay, so now I'm going to just um, place them nicely. The, the knot, you know, when it comes out, I'm not going to put them the two strands next to each other, but but on top of each other like this, okay? So there is one, one coming out here and one coming out right underneath it, okay? So now I'm gonna come back to the lace scarf and now I'm going to bring it up here. So now I'm picking up where I left off before when I said you will not maybe have enough material left. So that is my, my dilemma. It's not a dilemma, it's really not a problem at all. But uh, I just wanna mention it that my original plan and what I'm doing with other scarves when I'm do, doing this wrap is that I'm just tying uh, a knot or two and then I'm doing the side ruffle wrap technique and I'm just slinging it back and forth between itself, on itself, you know? But I cannot do that here in this case because I don't have enough material left. So what I'm doing is I'm tying a double knot, which you need in this case, otherwise it will just open up. 
So at the, the end that comes out towards the back, I'm just spreading this out a little bit. And then the other, the other end that's coming out towards the front, I'm just flipping this backwards over the knot. And then I'm taking my pin cushion and I'm just pinning this down a little bit. So now you can, of course, be again super creative how you want to pin this. If you want to have it a little bit more like in a one area or if you want to have it spread out like I'm doing it right now. So yeah, so that is, that is the look. <laughs> So maybe one more and then we're already done. Okay. So yeah, that's the finished look, my, my lovelies. <laughs> Let me just turn around and show you. As always, remember, I have not seen myself from the back, so I hope it looks okay. <laughs> As I told you, I have done this wrap already with my own scarves a lot uh, lately because I've just totally fallen in love with this kind of a wrap. And um, I just, yeah, it, but this color scheme is absolutely new for me. I don't own any scarves in that color scheme in my own private collection and I barely have a white really, you know, maybe one, but I don't know. I'm just always going for the colors and the colors and the colors. And I have to realize that um, I'm limiting myself by staying in my comfort zone because obviously colors are absolutely my comfort zone, but I, I just have to realize that I can look so pretty like this too. And I had no idea. So thank you Rapunzel for putting this challenge in front of me. <laughs> that was absolutely amazing. And I just really, really like the finished look. It is is a fall look absolutely with those I don't know it looks like how does it look like a harvest kind of um I don't know I don't know <laughs> it is what it is I'm calling it the fall fusion wrap so let me know what you think and if you're new here then please subscribe to my channel and besides that you can find all the information the information that I have already available that you will find in the description box down below the um, concerning the scarves and of course also the contact information for Rapunzel and for my own social media and uh, if you want to order something from Rapunzel and you want to use my affiliate code then feel free to do so it's Queen Leora in all caps in one word it's going to give you five percent of your order and thank you for supporting me in that way and besides that i can't wait to have you here for my next video which is going to be super soon and up until then go ahead and sparkle hugs and kisses bye